It's Colby and Dean. I'm Cadence, and today I'm going to be showing you a couple of quick, easy hairstyles you can do with either long, short, or medium hair. So, let's roll. The first one I'm going to be doing is super simple, but um, it pulls your hair out of your face, so I really like it, and it's super easy. So you're just gonna take, sorry, I have a mirror right, a mirror right here, so I'm gonna be looking at that. So you're gonna take a little section and you're gonna twist just a little bit and then all you do is pin it to the side of your head. I like using barrettes for this one. Another way to do this hairstyle is actually doing a braid. So the same way, you just take that section and then you braid just a little bit and then you can just clip it down. With these braids, I like to pull out the strands so it looks a little messier, but that's optional. Okay, the next one that I'm doing, you're just gonna need to take a section off the top of your hair. And then um, get it away from all the other hair. And you can brush out, you can brush out this top section. And then all you do is make it, I like to make this one a little lower. And all you do is just grab an elastic and then make a little ponytail. Sometimes instead of a po ponytail, if you just, um, Bring the loop through most of the way, and you create a loop I like this for a more casual look. So there's that. And if you don't really like that look, you can just pull it all the way through. And then this is your final look. This is the low ponytail half up look, but if you want it to be a high ponytail half up look, it'll look like this. So this one's just a high version of the other one. I also think this one's really cute. Another half up hairstyle you can do is doing that same thing, but with two um, ponytails. I think that's really cute. So what you need to do for this one is just part it down the middle. And then you're gonna take the same section of hair, but make sure you're still keeping them in those two parts. And you're just gonna part your hair to the um, one little section on top. And then all you're gonna do is put it into a ponytail. find a look for this one. For the next hairstyle, you're gonna be needing these same ponytails, and basically you're just gonna turn both of these into buns. So just twist it and wrap it around, and then use some bobby pins to hold it down.
kind of look. And for the last half of hairdo, uh, you're going to do this hairstyle, but only with one hand. It's going to look like this. I really like this hairstyle because it's a, different, a little different from the other one, but it's uh, even easier than the double bun one. So let's go to the updos now. Okay, so for the first updo, all you're gonna need to do is put your hair into a high ponytail. So once you have your hair into a high ponytail like this, this one's super easy. All you do is take a little section from the back of your ponytail, smooth it out, and then all you do is wrap it around um, your rubber band that's holding your ponytail, and then secure it down with a bobby pin. Then I like to pull out some hair so it looks a little more messy, and then pull out pieces to frame my face. Okay, I'm gonna do one more with the same high ponytail. All you're gonna do is take all your hair, wrap it around really loosely, and then pin this bun down with a few hair ties. And then once I have it up, I like to always mess with it so it looks a little more messy because I don't like perfect buns. Okay, so the next one involves braids and ponytails. So you're basically gonna take out a little section of hair this way and keep that out of your um, other hair. Then you're gonna take the rest of your hair and put it into a ponytail. This can be a high ponytail, middle ponytail, or low ponytail. Um, but I'm just doing closer to the middle and make sure to keep out this uh, hair. So now once you have your ponytail in this section, all you're going to do is braid this section. You're going to braid this all the way down. Okay, so now that you have it braided all the way down, you're going to wrap it and then wrap this part around your rubber band and then secure it with some hair ties. I mean with some bobby pins. And then once again, I'm going to pull out um, the sections of my brain. difficult but I think it's really cute so basically you're just gonna fringe braid but you're gonna incorporate all of your hair only on one side I think this is way easier than normal fringe braids because um, you only have to do one side but basically just braid normally and then put strands of hair into the braid as you go down
scrunchie in it or a normal hair tie once you get to the bottom. And then I'm gonna frame my face again. And then loosen up this whole braid. And then this is your final product. braid is to just do a normal side braid so I'll show you that too. So first just I like for these ones to pull sections out of my hair first. And then sweep all your hair to the same side. And then just loosely braid your whole hair. The next one is just a simple, messy, low bun. This one, I don't start with the ponytail because I like it to look really loose. And then all you do is just wrap it around, then get a hair tie, just go around really quickly, and then I just pull it out until I like how it looks. You can also use some bobby pins. And then just pull out the front, and that's your final look. Another way you can make this hairstyle even more interesting is doing double braids like this. Like this. Uh, just double low buns. They're really messy, and I think they're really cute. So uh, I have one more hairstyle. It's actually not an updo, so I'll just show you that. This one's really, really simple, but I think it's really cute, and um, even though it's subtle, I think it's really cool. So basically, you just take a tiny, tiny, tiny piece of hair, and then you braid it all the way down, and then you're gonna do this several times all around your hair, um, and it just adds texture, I guess, <laughs> uh, to your hair, and it looks really cool. Once it gets too small to braid, you can just let it go, and it actually doesn't need a hair tie because um, it wouldn't unravel because it's so small. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's my little braid, and you can do however many you want of these. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and comment down below if you wear some of these hairstyles and if you like them. Thank you guys so much for watching again, and we'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye! Today's shout out is Chris and Benny McCollum. Thanks so much for subscribing and commenting.